G'day guys, Jason aka Leap Flight here. I'm just going to do a quick bench top review on some BL Heli 32 4-in-1 ESCs. So, um, before BL Heli 32, I hadn't used 4-in-1 ESCs. Um, not sure, I don't know, just didn't quite trust them. Uh, but BL Heli 32's come out and I'm a big fan. And now I want to use uh, some 4-in-1 ESCs for some applications. And I haven't found all the things I've wanted in a 4-in-1 ESC as yet. So I'll go through uh, a couple that I've uh, bought or tried in some cases. So this guy here is the uh, My Airbot uh, Typhoon. Um, it's a 35 amp, I believe, 2 to 4S. Um, it's got uh, a single current sensor for the whole um, craft, for the draw for the whole craft. Or uh, it's got a... Um, current sensor for each motor which um, can be read using uh, the uh, BL Heli 32 telemetry in addition to which it has got telemetry that's this uh, funny wire coming off here each of those four pads um, is telemetry for one of the uh, one of the motors um, that's kind of a bit annoying you think given that it's a single board they could create one track uh, put all the telemetry signals down the one track and join them um, have them come off one pad or even better come off the JST header they haven't done that for some reason which is kind of annoying. Um, the other thing that's annoying about this and most of the other BL Heli 32 uh, 4M1s I've seen is that they're only uh, 2 to 4S. Um, I'm interested in 5S for the uh, uh, low KV, high voltage kind of um, uh, idea and um, I haven't been able to find any uh, 5 or 6S rated um, BL Heli 32 ESCs. Anyway, I've got, I think, three of these, uh, oh, sorry, four of these total, in, including this one, but this one's actually got a problem. What I've found with this one is that um, uh, it was fine, I had a crash, and after that crash, I could never get it to power up past about 50% throttle. So um, you throttle up, and the uh, flight controller is sending a 2,000 uh, microsecond uh, throttle signal to the board, but it's only getting about um, half the RPMs that it should be getting. So it basically gets to about 1500, 1600 microseconds. That's where it peaks and it doesn't go any higher even though the signal keeps raising. You can see that in the uh, beta flight flight control uh, um, configurator. So apart from that, I've been quite happy with this CSC, uh, apart from the fact that it doesn't have a beck. Um, and that's something I wanted, but I can't get. So you have to use a separate back when you're using this uh, ESC, which is a bit of a pain. The next one I bought is this guy here. This guy is the uh, Racer Star 35 amp uh, 4-in-1 Bell Heli 32 ESC. Now this does have a back. It's got a 5 volt and a 12 volt VEC, uh, but it doesn't have current sensing. There's no current sense, no shunt resistor. And as far as I know, there's no telemetry break it out. Um, so, I believe, in fact, there is telemetry. I believe all BL Heli 32 uh, ESCs have telemetry, but if there's no pad broken out, you have to solder to one of the legs on the chips. Look at the size of the legs on the chips on this thing. They are pretty tiny. So, uh, good luck soldering to those. There's a, that's a normal craft knife to give you an idea of how tiny the, the legs on those chips are. There's no way you'd be able to solder to that. So, effectively, it doesn't have um, telemetry. Uh, and as I say, it hasn't got a current sensor. So the advantage of this one is that it's cheap, relatively speaking, and it's got a beck. Um, I haven't actually flown this one because I didn't realize when I bought it that it didn't have a current sensor, and I really like having a current sensor. So this one hasn't been flown. This one also, the Racer Star, is also 2 to 4S. That brings us to this guy. Uh, this is the Akon AK32 uh, 4M1 ESC. It's only uh, recently hit our shores. I believe there's only one retailer in Australia that's got them at the moment. Uh, it's 35 amp, uh, I believe it's um, 45 amp burst, and I'm uh, just about to take it out of the bag and have a look. So let's uh, cut her open. This is uh, 2 to 6S, so it's 6S capable, which is great. Uh, I believe it's probably going to be very similar to the AK32 individual ESCs, so that's what I've seen with... Uh, like the Akon with the uh, Bill Heli S 4M1s, it seems to be quite similar, I can tell. So we've got the ESC itself, which comes with some nice, uh, I guess that's 14 gauge silicon wires. Um, we have a nice, well, I don't know if it's nice, it might not be quite so nice. 
Comes with a Rubicon. What's that? Is it a Rubicon? Oh, yeah, it's a Rubicon, I think. 330 uh, microfarad, um, 35 volt capacitor. And it comes with some. Yeah, not the greatest wire. I don't know what the installation doesn't feel that really hard stuff like FR Sky, but it's not doesn't feel like it's silicon either. So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, insulation on that goes. That's a, I guess it's a one mil uh, eight wire um, cable. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So four, six, that's a 10 pin cable. I haven't got one of those. So that's a bit of a pain. Uh, we do have a shunt resistor. So we've got current sensing. It does have at least a five volt back. What's that say? Let's see if we can read that. Uh, so we've got motors. Uh, there, yeah, ground, ground, positive, positive, motor four, motor three, motor two, motor one. I can't, uh, I don't know what that says. CN1 and TX. So TX is going to be your telemetry. I'm not sure what CN1 is, but uh, this being a better quality product, we have. Some destructions. Oh, okay, so that's your current sense. So you've got uh, ground, ground, um, VCC, five volt, your four motors, current sensing and telemetry. So uh, all in all, this um, ESC ticks all the boxes for me and I'm gonna be uh, pretty interested to see how it flies because previous to uh, BL Heli 32, the only ESC I would fly was a uh, were, were the Acons um, Bill Heli S. So I'm pretty pleased that Acons really something that ticks all my boxes. It's actually quite an interesting design because it looks like the back is a separate. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it looks like the back is a separate board that's been uh, somehow attached. So I don't know if that means there's scope to have different voltages as well uh on the back i'm not sure what these so i mean i guess that's going to be five volt ground and i don't know what the other one is maybe there's just two five volts coming off or maybe there's filtration on the vcc uh don't know that's quite interesting so let's see if the instructions or the mapping says anything uh imported high quality mosfet up to 40 volts so it's rated up way past 6s really uh 45 amps for 10 seconds 5 volt 2 amp back, uh, 14 grams. Default with current standalone, reliable, yeah, okay, so 5 volts 2 amps. Not much else to say. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, though, this is probably the best spec, best featured BL Heli 32 4M1 out there at the moment. And as I say, I'm really looking forward to flying it. So um, that's my benchtop review of the. Uh, Acon AK32 4M1 Bill Heli ESC, and I guess it was a bit of a review of a couple of other 4M1 Bill Heli 32 ESCs too. Hope that's been helpful, guys. And um, just to give you a bit of a look at this again, it's got quite a lot of capacitance, which is good, I guess. Uh, and it does, as I say, come with a uh, 330 microfarad. 35 volt uh, Rubicon capacitor as well. I'm just curious about why there's so much circuitry on that back. Anyway, I guess I'll find out. I guess it's probably very, not, look, I think there's probably, you know, I don't know, I don't know if Battle Electronics to make a comment. I won't make a comment. Anyway, that's the Acon uh, Bill Heli 32 4M1 AK32 ESC. Hope that's been helpful, guys. See yous.